Teresa, would you like to say a few words for the camera? Yes, I'm really looking forward to this meeting. <laughs> Thank you very much. Once again, please have your boarding pass out and available for our Yo, Mr. Everett. Oh, who wants to start the Get over movies. here where I can get your ugly mug on <laughs> I'm moving my glasses to get the best look at my face. <laughs> <laughs> it was a land shark just passed by. Excuse me. I'm glad I thought of that. Well, here we are looking out the window at the terminal at the Salt Lake Airport. After a number of misadventures, landed us on the same plane with a certain very suspicious looking pair of gentlemen, one Dykes Everett and one Rocky Metcalf. Is that a mugshot or what? I don't know who this guy is. So anyway. Excuse me, please. Please. Thank you. Well, they're telling us that. Slow it down, in fact. They're telling us that there's a paperwork problem. Yeah. Sure. What do you think? Could we have some comment on that, Mr. Yes. Metcalf? <laughs> That's right. Let me let me hit the backlit function here so that so that Rocky's face cams, shows yeah. in. Cams, be two That's right. There we go. Okay. Now we well I don't know whether we can see him better that way or this way. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. How embarrassing. Oh goodness gracious. Public displays of affection right here on Interstate Flight. <laughs> Groping. Groping. <laughs> <laughs> Celluloid groping. Gotta get it now. Get married. That's enough. <laughs> now we got a PG rating on this film. Do we want to go a little higher? No, never mind. Excuse me. Grope away. Me. Let me back off here. Oh, there. Back way off. So you go with the fellow in here. Oh no, you're going to New York, York Strip. Right. Right. New York Strip. <laughs> it just looks like deer. Maybe it's just deer. That's right. Camera. Oh no. Camera man. Well, I figured this being the first dinner and all, I would at least pan around, look at everybody's around, face, seeing as how our first dinner is usually, you know, the most ridiculous one of them all. I must all say, right. Rob is kind of like a cross-sided discus thrower. Yeah? <laughs> throw it very Would far, you care to elaborate on that? <laughs> <laughs> it keeps the crowd alert? Okay, I'm glad you clarified that. I've been working it. Well, <laughs> I won't do this again to us at dinner time, I don't think, but I figured I'd at least do it the first night so that we'd all at least know who we are and where we are. I'd like to have an mouthful. look at this and say we look really funny. Let me zoom in there on old Metcalf. Look at how bald old man Metcalf is. Let's zero in on old Metcalf's bald spot. Look how bald Uncle Matt looks. Yeah. Oh, Uncle Matt's never had much hair, has he? Well, I am absolutely this before I Yes. 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 Yahoo Mountain Dew. Twelve dollars. Best okay. twelve buck bottle of wine ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit. Amen. That's fine. Bold yet flossy. <laughs> <laughs> Subtle yet <Yeah>. dramatic. <laughs> Putrid yet flaccid. Pardon <laughs> <laughs> these people. Smooth so yet rocky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, him too. <laughs> well, you got so. none yet? <laughs> none for me, thanks. All right. So, Lisa, do you have any uh, any other comments? Anything else we should be aware of? Just that I'm very hungry. You're hungry? Because it's 8 o'clock for time. That's right, it is, isn't it? We haven't even had lunch. All we did was have two breakfasts on the plane. But I don't want to go down in history as only being hungry. So I'm also happy. Are you also happy? That's good. I too am happy. Well, I can think of no place I would rather be. So I'll just sign off now and we'll save the film for other things. Here we see Lisa Duke has now emerged from the <laughs> from the cocoon 
of her uh, abode and she is obviously in top form this morning and let me just zoom in on that smiling face as she considers the uh, uh, I think I should be considering something right about now like uh, escape anyway the Everett's have informed us that we should go over and get our own table because God only knows when they will show up so anyway uh, we're just gonna go down and knock on their door and see what they have to say We cannot believe our eyes collectively, but they are out. There is Mr. Dykes Claire Everett himself, surveying the scene as he strolls out, looking fashionable from head to toe. In a minute or two, he's going to be he's going to be frozen solid, a block of ice, like his car. And there's Lisa. Hi, Lisa. So this is the exciting first morning. We probably won't do any more filming of first mornings because after all, this is the last first morning. We may not be doing any more filming of any mornings. Let's see if we can get the vet caps out. Okay. Someone answered the door. I had to try these babies out. <laughs> Madcalf, put your clothes on. This is embarrassing. Now the rating of this movie just went up another notch. Good gracious heavens, mercy sakes, and other uh, PG expletives. So anyway, we know what kind of shape we're in here. This thing Bob Martinez ain't around. This is pitiful. That's right. Well, that's, you know, you've heard of nasty rap. Met, the nasty is. Met. That's right. So uh, I guess we should ease over and get our table and start our coffee and let them worry about themselves. I, I think that's a wonderful idea. Okay. She's hungry again. Well, again. This is amazing. I have a little flashing blue battery light here saying that my battery is almost dead, which uh -oh. I can. Red light's flashing. That's okay. I've got uh, another battery. Does that mean I'm going to? That means you're going to start moving Well, we are now getting underway on our exciting sleigh ride. As you can see us leaving the refuge area. And uh, easing out towards the wildlife elk refuge. Shoot, yeah. The ultimate and uh, we got our trusty animals up front. Are those Clydesdales, by the way? No. no. What? Yeah. Those things are great. These came yeah. from Belgians. Clydesdales came from Scotland. Oh. Beautiful horses. Tires came from England. Yeah. 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 What's your name? Brad. Brad? Brad has to put up with obnoxious tourists from South Florida. What a way to end his day. This your last room for the day. Again. The bus load is 75. Well. <laughs> Finish the panorama here. All right. Yep, yeah, he's the victor. Guess he doesn't want to look at us, though. See why you stay. Thank you. <laughs> What's going on here? You got a little. Oh, Ooh, Did you always feel like you're showing off? Yeah. 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 Do they do this often? Yeah. They do they? Like to play around like this? Yeah. 
see, here are the people. Let's give them a show. Meanwhile, well, back at the watering the hole. They warm up, you know, and they're feeling good like this. They, if, they've, if they've got energy, like when it's real cold in January, right there, you may not see them doing it much. But when the days get warm like this and they're feeling good, they do that a lot. Yeah. See who's making all that noise there. That's our trusty steeds. Those are ours. <laughs> we already lost ours. Postcards flopping around. No, they're Robs. <laughs> they escaped. This is just as neat as it can be. Do they ever seem to get spooked by the horses? Well, usually not. They don't associate any danger or threat from the sleighs. Yeah. Whereas like a person on foot, they associate. If you walk, you know, somebody got out and walked. Well, the trip is over. Everyone is relaxing. Looking very western. And uh, very cold. Bye, looking very cold, yes. The, even the horses are cold. Yeah, he's backing up to give you a good boot there, Bri. Yeah, I'll bet he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, so ends our trip out to the Elk. Say goodbye, everybody. We're leaving. <laughs> All right, and stroll we shall. And the horses. Oh, Brother Metcalf is leading the way with his camera. Now oh, this is action handy cam here. I feel like. I'm ready for the eyewitness news team. Anyway, we'll see you later. A little nudgy. We can sit on our thighs. Well, we're getting ready to go on a sleigh ride up to dinner here at dusk. It's the other sleigh. Oh, Nelly. Oh, down in front, down in front. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a what a motley crew! Lex has his deputy dog hat on. All right. Oh, we got some bells jingling. Not oh, Christmassy. Too bad it's March. Is it March? No, it's not. It's March. That's it. You're right. <laughs> yeah, we're on the trail on the way up to a cabin, which in theory is going to be warm and have food. So once again, we're testing out all these local hypotheses. And, uh, who knows? Maybe we'll have a theory before it's all over arriving at the cabin. There's smoke pouring out of it, so that suggests heat. That's what we're definitely going to need here. And uh, perhaps food also. Notice the chimney. Yes, yes. I guess this is the cabin. Maybe it's just somebody's house. And we're passing by. I sort of doubt it. This is the site. I'm hoping it's coming out. Hi. Hi, how are you? Two of you? Here we are at the next exciting phase of our ski trip, and Mike Smith has now joined us with the beautiful Susan. Susan and, is over here. And let's pan over and get a shot of Susan there. <laughs> and we're about to take this mountain over. And this mountain that he's referring to, ladies and gentlemen, for the, you folks at home, is the Grand Targhee Resort in Idaho. Yes, we have added Idaho to the list of states that we have been in on this trip. Yeah. We, we finally, we're not sure where we are. <laughs> we think we're at Grand Targhee Resort, 
we took a wrong turn back there and this could be Sun Valley. But anyway, uh, we got rid of Everett and Metcalf who are off on a fishing trip today of all things. We have entrusted our credit cards to our respective wives, except for Brian who brought Lisa to make sure that she didn't do what Terry and Lisa are about to do to us in the shopping village at Jackson Hole. Rob, you're skiing 200s? Yes, sir. Who are you trying to kick? He's a, he's a maniac. First myself and then everyone else on the slope. You just want to impress people sitting on the lift. People look at him, he's got 200. You can fool some of the people all of the time, as I have proved out here this week. So anyway, I'm going to have to leave this this uh, camera in the trunk for a while until I get up and see what the locker situation is. So to the mountain we go. On the final day of the Duke trip, we'll be here for a couple more days, but Brian and Lisa have to go home today. And this is our farewell adios breakfast at the Bunnery. It's our last supper. <laughs> yeah. The last breakfast we have. And uh, in a minute, the other gang will be seated at this table. They're way the heck up there, and they were late. And, uh, Coming now? Oh no. I hope he doesn't see somebody else there. Capture that forever on celluloid. Good morning, gang. They wouldn't let us sit together, so we had to come over and see you all. Oh, I'm so Here on this last morning of the Duke trip. The cheap seats. The cheap seats, yeah. Excuse are you all done? Well, I rub my backside. What did we all have here? The Mother yeah. Earth. We, didn't have, we don't have anything. Who has the most pictures of the same person in their wallet? <laughs> okay. Here, well, I've got several. Who has the time? most people in their wallet? I've got checks. The dudes are officially departing from the gang here. Seeing you. This is awful. Right outside the bunnery, too. Imagine that. Are you skiing today? Oh, yeah. Well. So, uh, bye. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye. Take care. Okay. We'll be in touch. Okay. Well, here we are at the Grand Targhee Resort. That's Rocky getting ready to take pictures up the hill. Hi, campers. And uh, somewhere up there is Dykes Everett. We're going to try and find him and uh, watch him come down the hill. I'll show you where we are in a minute. There he is. He's waiting for Lily, who's up there somewhere, too. There he goes. Everett's in motion. Wide world of sports here. Look at him carve out that turn. Oh, you can almost hear him. You can hear him. Way to go. Looking righteous. 1990. Winter Olympics, baby. <laughs> Way to go. Here comes Lily. Lily's taking the casual approach. Casual she is, ladies and gentlemen. All right! A victory sprawl. A victory run. Way to go. Okay, now to show you where we are, we are on the Chief Joseph Blue Slope, which is at the Grand Targhee Resort on the west side of the Tetons and that's a little bit of the view and this is where we have to go next and uh, that's Idaho over there Idaho spud country yes sir and uh, I'm about to twist myself out of my skis here because I'm standing in them See some of these guys going by at warp warp speed. Rob, make sure you don't film the uh, no jumping sign so as to not give further evidence to those trying to prosecute us. <laughs> we discovered there's a statute in Wyoming about endangering self or others on the slope. And since we've been in violation of that statute since the day we got here, we uh, we're a little concerned. Well, but this is where you'll get better here. I like practicing at Here comes Rob, as you can see, heading out, making the slope in long, graceful carving turns.
truly one of the premier skiers at the Grand Tarkey Resort here today. Rob Major, world renowned as a master of the uh, powder slope. Oh my god! Here we are, back on track now with Lily Thomas, world renowned women's alpine downhill champion, showing the form that made her the skier that she is today. Notice the carving turns. Now we're going to pan to her fiance at this point. Rocky Metcalf, world renowned fiance of Lily Thomas. World class gear that he is. Guy. He's trying to right, ruin my home movie. Oh, no. Sorry, Rob. Let's go on down there and let's do it again. All right. I'm thinking, damn that guy's. Rob Major. Carving his turns. World renowned powder skier that he is. Of course, even Rob Skiing can't compete with the narration on this video. Yeah. Got gotcha, you, man. All right, man. There goes Everett after his wonderful job of recording my feeble attempt at demonstrating skiing techniques. He's off down Dead Man's Bowl. And uh, so far, it hadn't killed him. Smooth, smooth, oh yeah. The view, as I said, was uh, pretty spectacular from up here. Sometimes you feel like you're gonna ski off the edge of the world. Now I'm fixing to tackle this bowl, so say a little prayer for me, those of you. Here we have Rob. Coming in with wild abandon, finishing out his last dry powder run of the day, showing us that Robert Major form that allowed him to become one of the truly major alpine skiing stars of this and future decades. It's incredible when we think about it. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, finishing his truly spectacular run on the slopes. Rob, Yo. may we have a few words for the fans back home? Well, tell us, tell us how you were able to perfect the skiing style that made you famous. The skiing style that made me famous. We started off with uh, a complete lack of fear. I like that. And then uh, you add to that a heavy dose of prayer. Your fans like that. Yes. Uh, and then. You take out a good life insurance policy. I understand. What about the inspiration that your friends play? Your friends. Uh, For example. Those are the ones that persuade you to get 200 centimeter skis your first time out. <laughs> exactly. You go down the slopes on your back those and are your the, stomach. Those are the very friends I'm those talking about. Those are the ones, about. yeah, the inspiration <laughs> that they provide. Um, well, let's say that's a minor factor. I understand. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, thank you. My pleasure. Well, yeah, I like that form. Well, here we are home again after our Targi trip, unloading the truck, the skis, the white women, the other packages, the women, yes. And the Puerto Rican girls. They already unloaded themselves. And the uh, sun is fixing to go down. Whoops, better not point right at it. I'll probably blow my camera away in the west. And, uh, we all are the white women. You can see that we've had a lot of melting on that hill outside of town. So we're fixing to go have dinner at some outrageously expensive place or other, I'm sure. Oh, your fault. Uh, that's Everett's fault. He set up the reservations. Well, I never liked him. I know, I know. Well, that's okay. He says he never liked you either, Matt, so. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh. Battery just died, huh? Your light was it's about to go. Oh, what a shame. When, when you're recording, is your light supposed to be solid red? 
Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. It's well, it's if, it, it's if it's blinking, blinking, it just means my battery's about to go dead. It's blinking. Yeah. Well. So have... you're only getting every other word right now. Right. There. 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 I'll speak broken language. Or well, I'll say each word twice. So Later that same morning, the Everett's finally arrived. There they are. Good morning, Dykes. As you can see, the snow is still coming down, and we're, we've decided to go skiing at Snow King today, and maybe we'll get some powder. And maybe my battery won't go dead until maybe after. Maybe you'll get some chap lips. Chap lips? I already got them. That's a receding lip line. A receding oh, lip line. Half his nose. That's right. I, all I can have now is a skinny little aggressive mustache. Well, anyway, we'll show you around the, the restaurant here this morning. That's a very suspicious looking crowd there standing on the street corner in downtown Jackson. Sunday morning, getting ready, I can tell, just by the looks of them, to get on an airplane and fly the heck out of Jackson. This is our last morning. We had breakfast at the Jedediah restaurant was named after Jedediah Smith, a hardy explorer, etc. He died at the tender age of 32 at the hand of the Comanche Indians. But uh, today, alas, is our last day, and we'll be going over to join the Everett's and the Metcalfs. Just a minute for our final in front of the antlers photograph. That is, as soon as Terry gets out of the store that she just went into. Yes, sir, a mere three minutes of film left, and here we are at the airport. There's Rocky Dean. Mr. Everett donning his sunglasses. Teresa Kay, Lisa. Lily. And me. Well, here's the bird that's going to take us home, or at least take us to... Salt Lake City or Dallas one. I think it takes us to Dallas. There's the uh, resort, which is getting a little fog today, Teton Village. And uh, there's a whole bunch of excited skiers getting ready for their own week of fun and frolic here at the Jackson Hole. So everybody say goodbye. Bye. Bye, Lisa. Bye, Terry. Bye, Dykes. Bye, Lily. Bye, Rocky. Goodbye.